Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing a simple, super simple DIY. Um, it's a photo frame, if you want to call it a frame, it's more like a photo hanger. And I got the idea because I have tons of pictures floating around my house, but like none in an actual frame, so they're not on display. And I wanted something that was super easy to change the pictures as I see it fit. So the kind that I really like were the ones that hung on string, and you just take a clothes peg or another type of clip and just clip it to the string. Now I went to a lot of different places just checking them out and seeing which ones I actually liked and they were like $30, like really, really pricey and I was like, oh hell no, I can make that myself. And so that's exactly what I did. Um, I'm going to take you through step by step just showing you, but this is pretty much what I created. This project cost me maybe seven, eight dollars and I am obsessed with it. So if you would like to create this uh, little corkboard hanging thing, I don't know what to call it, photo frame, um, just continue watching and yeah, have a good day guys, bye bye. So the first thing you're gonna need is a cork board of some sort. I got mine from Target in the dollar spot for $5. You're also gonna need some clothes pegs. Those I had from Christmas, they were a dollar. Once again, Target. I also collected some small little clothes pegs because I thought they would look better with the overall look since my cork board isn't very large. But if you have a larger cork board, then you can use the traditional size clothes pegs. Now I also have some twine here. I have this decorative color one that I got from Target. I think it was a dollar in a dollar spot. But you can just use regular twine. Um, I like that one because it's got gold and I thought it would look good and it just suits my personal style. Lastly, you're going to want to gather some photographs that you would like to put on display. Um, this specific cork board fits five photos, but depending on the size, you can just play around with it and see how many photos you will need. Now another thing you'll need is a hot glue gun and a hot glue stick and electricity. <laughs> um, but yeah, while that's getting hot, here I am just placing some photos down just to see how they will hang. And uh, yeah, I did my vertical photos at the top and I did the horizontal ones at the bottom. Following which, I just took a pencil and marked the spot where I wanted to glue the twine. So that way when I went to take the hot glue gun and glue, you know, place the glue, I would know exactly where to put it and it lined up perfectly. So I only placed the glue on those two little lines right there. I didn't do it around the entire frame because I thought that would be really messy. And I really wanted to push down the twine really hard and allow that to dry. So I allowed that to dry for maybe two minutes. Um, so I knew it was secure. And then I moved on and did the sides of the frame and the back as well. Once it has dried, you're going to take some scissors and just cut off the excess unless you want to leave it long and do a bow in the back. I personally didn't. So I just cut off the excess string and glued the sides and the back and that was it. When you go to glue the top line, you're actually going to do the strip of glue right underneath where the border kind of meets that little corner right there. Because if you glue it right to the top, the string won't hang and then you can't hang your pictures. So you're going to want to do it just underneath where the border ends in the little corner. And so you see me gluing it there. And then I just did the same on the other side. I had already taken a pencil and marked where I wanted to put the glue just like I did for the bottom string so I would advise you know you can do the same thing because my measurement is off I'll probably be crooked and then you just lay the twine down once again you're pretty much doing the same thing repeating the process glue the front hold it down for two minutes do the sides and then the back now you can also jazz it up with some flowers and some block letters, glitter, whatever you like. Um, I left mine pretty simple and plain because that's my personal style right now. But feel free to decorate it however you may like and uh, yeah, make it really personalized. And now for the best part, you get to select the photos that you absolutely love and the memories that you want to kind of live on forever. And you just select them and put them wherever you would like. So I've chosen some of my family and some of my son when he was first born. And I just like to look at this little frame every day and just kind of let the memories live on. 
The thing that I really love about it is that it's interchangeable, versatile, so you can switch out the photos with different seasons and events in your life. And it also makes a thoughtful and really nice gift if you wanted to give it to someone with you know, a memory that you want to share with them. And I chose to put mine in the kitchen, you see it right there. So every time I cook, I can look at my photo frame. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you try it out for yourself. And I'll see you in the next video.